Hey guys, I am your host, Michael Panetta. Welcome to another episode of Tech Examined. And tonight we are checking out some screen protectors from the folks over at iLoom. Uh, we've got a couple here for the iPhone 5. That's the tempered glass. And we have the uh, flex screen protector, which we're going to install tonight. So let's get this started. All right, guys. So taking a quick peek at what we got here with the tempered version. Obviously, you have the reinforced screen protector here glass screen shield doesn't flex as much as the flex obviously you get a microfiber and of course you get jelly buttons which are pretty uh, useless on the 5s but obviously this is for the 5 as well so you can still continue to use that and a little different setup here for the flex version you have your extremely flexible screen protector and uh, you know very resilient glass as well as a couple dust remover stickers a hinge tape system which allows you to install it, microfiber, and uh, instructions on how to do that. So, of course, I got to try it their way, right? I have my way of doing it, and uh, we'll see exactly how their way goes and if it's uh, something that I can try out. So, um, you know, we'll just kind of speed through it. You can laugh at me, but really there's no sense in talking it because I'm probably going to be cursing through most of it. So, let's get it started and uh, tell you what I got afterwards, what I thought, and well, you can see me do it. So let's get into it. All right, guys. So that is the install. As you see, I had some problems with the hinges. I felt like they weren't sticking to the side of the iPhone. And, uh, you know, because you were only using up so much, I felt like they weren't sticking and it wasn't really giving me uh, the leverage that I needed to keep it still. So I just went back to Old Faithful and uh, did it the way that I usually do it. And I uh, thought I had a little dust uh, underneath the screen there, but uh, it might still be there. I might have to mess with that and get some tape out. But uh, it just may be the fact that it's not sitting. It keeps going away every time I work at it so it looks like it might be going away there but damn near perfect you can't tell that uh, there's a screen shield on there and um, seems to work pretty well you know there's uh there's no issues um, obviously with making it feel weird or anything like that at all it definitely uh, is nice and smooth and uh, I got my fingerprints all over it so I'm just trying to keep it a little bit cleaner at this point but uh, it does look good I'm extremely happy with it a very thin screen shield uh, on there. You're definitely not feeling like there's much of a lip at your button uh, when you're using it. You know, like you have the, on the on the screen shields that are on there, the glass screen, which you would have on the other one. Uh, the uh, tempered glass would be a little bit of a of a stretch, but um, you know that's something that we'll have to try out. I'm gonna try this out for a couple days and see how it holds up to the uh, wear and tear, and uh, try out a couple cases and see how it holds up. Uh, as far as the cases that may come over the edge of the phone and see how well it is since it's so thin and uh, you saw how flexible that was but uh, the pricing on these before I forget as I was doing this I realized I didn't mention that to you guys $16.99 I believe is the price on the flex and uh, you know if you're able to use these tools a lot better than I uh, I was able to they're definitely very sticky but I think uh, when I took it off I put it head down here at the button and I moved it a little bit and I think I killed the uh, the stickiness of it, and it wasn't holding all that well. Um, also, if uh, you're at the edge somewhere and you're able to put more on the side and you know equal it out, it is is on the uh, kind of like the whole hinge effect. You go more towards the middle, and this is where it would fold over the screen. Might have been a little bit better. And I was getting ready to use the dust remover, but uh, it didn't seem like I needed it after I realized uh, once I pushed it down a little bit. The uh, spots went away. That one keeps popping back up, but I believe it'll go away uh, as it kind of settles down. But it looks great. Uh, quality product for $16.99 uh, to start off, and uh, everything you get with it is pretty cool. Uh, the tempered glass uh, is only $24.99. So they tout value with these. Um, and I'll come out and say it, you know, um, Spigen is a little bit more expensive uh, with their glass screen shields, but, you know, the quality is there uh, definitely not going to knock it and uh, you know I think iLoom may have something here 
Uh, it is a definitely a uh, a nice screen protector all around. So uh, you know, like I said, when I said top uh, top three favorites, when I mentioned Spigen, you know, I think Iloo might be in there as well. And uh, you know, we'll give it a little bit of a torture test. I've definitely done that to Spigen, and I was extremely happy with it. So uh, we'll try a little bit of keys and scratching this on it, and uh, come back in a couple of days and uh, tell you guys what I think of it. And maybe uh, put that on and do a little more of a torture test as well. So guys, that is it for me. Uh, iLoom, thank you guys very, very much for sending this out. Like I said, uh, Mr. Double D50 uh, had a video that he did this on the S4, and uh, he's very happy with it. Uh, we'll see what I think. So you guys have a good one, and I will talk to you later. See ya!